You wanna know the best way to clean and keep your wheels clean? Well, I'm gonna tell you in this video. My name is Jason. I've been a detailer for 20 years. And over those 20 years, I've learned a lot of different secrets on how to clean and how to keep your wheels clean. In this video, I'm gonna give you my top five. All right, my first secrets are just to know what you're working on. First, pull your car into a nice spot, a shaded area is good, and make sure that your wheels are cool. You don't wanna start spraying a wheel if you've just been driving and it's really hot, you can actually warp the rotors and, and ruin a lot of stuff in there. And you're gonna be using chemicals. You don't want those chemicals to dry on the wheel. Knowing your chemicals is important because there's different types of wheel cleaners. We're actually gonna be using Shine Supply. This is Wise Guy. This is an alkaline wheel cleaner. It's a wheel and tire cleaner, so it's a great maintenance product to clean both your tire and your wheel. This product is an alkaline product and it's safe for most wheels, except for aluminum or anodized wheels. This is actually a concentrated version. So with this bottle, you're actually gonna get a separate spray bottle here where you can mix it one to one. So you're gonna get a lot of product out of this. If you clean your wheel, now if you've ever seen clean your wheel and you have built up brake dust, this is not gonna take that off. This is a maintenance product to, just to keep your wheels clean, get that salt, the dirt, the road grime off. Built up brake dust is gonna take a little more. That's where you gotta know your products. This is cool, guy. This is an iron remover. It's dedicated for wheels. You spray it on the, and all the steel that's coming off that rotor that's actually embedded itself into the wheel that's stuck on there, this will dissolve it. It's really cool, it'll turn purple. It's dissolving all those metal particles and you're gonna get a super, super clean wheel after you use this. And because this is pH balance, it's safe for all wheels, including ceramic coated wheels, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Secret number two is choosing the right tools to clean your wheels, because using the wrong tools can create damage. For instance, gloss black wheels. They will scratch just like your paint does. Therefore, I do not like using brushes on any wheels, and this is a secret. I'm gonna show you some tools that I use to make sure that you're safely cleaning the wheels. Number one is the barrel. A lot of people forget to clean the barrel, and this is huge when you're going to detail a car. It makes a huge difference when you're looking at it when that barrel's clean versus that dirty barrel. My number one brush that I like to use is this wheel woolly. And these come in different sizes, and, and you can have a bend in them. There's all kinds of different tools out there but this is great because it fits right inside there and it cleans that barrel of the wheel. Now, sometimes you'll actually have the rotor and the caliper that are pretty close to the barrel there and it can actually, you won't be able to get that in there because it'll get stuck. This is a brush. I don't necessarily like this one. I'd rather use the wheel woolly, but if I have to, I can get behind that caliper with this brush because once you squeeze it, you can see it gets really, really thin and I'm able to clean behind there. Lug nuts, it's hard to get in there, but with this brush, it's awesome. It gets right in there. This is the work stuff brush, the rubber handle. It's made for wet environments like this. You can also reach back in there and get that caliper if you need to. So I know you've seen wheels being cleaned with brushes and everything. This is the game changer right here. This is my favorite tool to use when it comes to cleaning wheels. <laughs> it's pretty simple, it's just a half mitt. It's made for wheel cleaning. You put this right in there and your fingers can squeeze in there and you can clean inside here and get all the little cracks and crevices. I love using this. I can actually clean the tire with this and then I can clean the wheel well if I wanted to. This is awesome. All right, secret number three, if you wanna get a really good cleaning, take the wheel off. This way you can get the back of the, the wheel, the tire and everything in here the wheel well, the suspension, all the calipers, you can get it super, super clean. This here is a great product that's gonna save you a little headache. Uh, you can throw this right on the wheel stand. This is from the Source Garage. Put it on the wheel stand, and then you can actually clean the wheel right here. Uh, it actually comes with wheels, or you can have little feet if you wanna put it up on a cart and just work up while you're standing, really cool. And then just flip this around to the other side. And now you got access to the back of the wheel too. Secret number four, most wheels are clear coated just like your paint, meaning they can be polished and compounded and corrected and look 
beautiful and shiny. look really close you can see the scratches on this wheel and we can polish those out it'll give it that shine and that glow like a brand new wheel secret number five actually i just thought of a sixth secret so stick around there'll be a bonus secret secret number five though is after you have the wheel all clean and polished and it's looking good as this wheel you want to keep it that way um, and to do that you can use a ceramic coating so this is going to make it easier to wash, easier to maintain. It's gonna stay cleaner for longer and keep that shine. So this is a great product. This is a kit that comes with all the instructions on how to do it. It's really, really easy. First step before we do the coating, we're gonna use throwback, spray it on the wheel, wipe it down. This is gonna remove all the polishing oils. It's gonna cleanse the wheel and get it ready for the ceramic coating. You want that clean, you want it to adhere. You don't want anything in the way to interfere to lock in that shine. Next, we're gonna use the beadlock, which is made for wheels and suspension. Um, shake it up a little bit. I always like to shake any product up. We're gonna remove the cap, just remove that slowly. We're gonna put that sprayer in there. Make sure you take that sprayer out when you're done with it and put that cap back on. We have an applicator pad. Simply spray the coating on the applicator pad. So wipe it on the wheel, a nice even layer here. And this is actually gonna sit about 45 to 60 seconds you will kind of see it rainbow a little bit. That's an indicator that it's ready to be removed. Take your time, get into all these cracks and crevices. All right, it's been about 60 seconds. I can see it uh, doing the rainbow effect. I don't know if we can get that on camera. It's really hard to see on these wheels, but now it's just ready to take off. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna use our microfiber towel that comes with the kit and wipe all the excess coating off. This is where you can actually use your your light here. You really want to make sure you get all that off. So once you're confident that you have removed all the coating, spin this baby around and we're going to do the barrel of the wheel. Look at that. looks like glass. Also inside the kit, uh, they have Punch It, which is a Synergy spray. It is a maintenance product for ceramic coatings. Next time you go clean the wheel and you want to top it with this or maintain it with this, you can just spray a little bit on the face of the wheel and wipe it in and then wipe it off. Really cool that they threw that in there actually. If you're still watching this video, I would really like it if you liked it, gave it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. All right, we got a bonus secret for you. This is a decked out shine supply. This is a concentrated version. When you buy it, it comes with uh, the bottle and the spray or the trigger here and I mixed it um, a little more than one to one. You can do one to one for a high gloss or two to one for a satin shine. I kind of like the satin a little more. And then we have this applicator by Work Stuff. So we're going to apply the tire shine to the wheel. And the secrets are is you have to let this set up. You, it, depending on the weather, it'll take five, 10, 15 minutes for it to set up. And then if you don't want any sling, use a dirty microfiber, not a dirty one, but an old one that you're not using for like the paint anymore. It's dedicated for wheels and doing nasty jobs like this. Wipe off the excess tire shine so it doesn't sling all over the car. There you go. Go clean some wheels. Those are all my secrets. I have other secrets on other detailing things that I've done. If you guys want to check out the description below, you can find all the other videos that we've done and all the secrets that I'm sharing. Thanks for watching this. Uh, if you got any comments, I would love to hear them down in the comment section down below. But otherwise, we'll see you next time.